Hey everybody, Mike here. So we're going to be using Crack Weld's Pro Concrete Crack Repair Kit today to fix some cracks in this concrete floor. I'm going to take you around and show you the cracks we're going to be fixing. Um, take a look at this. So those are the cracks we're going to be repairing and we're going to show you the steps to use to take this kit. They have a DIY kit also. The difference between the DIY kit and the Pro Kit is the Pro Kit has the dual has this dual cartridge caulking gun whereas the DIY kit is the single cartridge. Alright guys, here's what you get in the kit. You get two dual cartridges, you get two bags of silica sand, you get your gloves and all your nozzles, a couple little cups, and what you don't get in this particular kit is, uh, is you don't get a dual cartridge caulking gun. That comes in one of their other kits. So this kit's just for the refill. Once you already have that caulking gun, then you can just buy this. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm preparing the cartridges. It comes with a little twist-off stopper that you just got to snap off. And then it's got this little backflow resistor you put right back on. And that just keeps the material from, from backflowing back into the cartridges. And then you just screw on the nozzle. Put it in the dual cartridge gun and you're ready to go. I've got to put my gloves on. Got my little cup. I'm going to purge a little bit of the material out before I start putting it in the crack. I want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed together before you put it in the crack. So I purge a little bit out. Then I bring it over to where I'm going to start. As you can see, we got the area nice and clean. Everything's out of our way. And then I just start wetting out the crack. And Darren's got some silica sand in the cup. He's going to pour some silica sand in the crack that I just wetted out. And then he's going to take a putty knife, just a little putty knife right there, and make a paste out of the sand and force it down into the crack. So he just keeps working the crack behind me with the sand and the paste and I just keep wetting it out. With two people this moves along pretty fast. It's pretty easy. That's why they call it a DIY repair kit. So if you need to wet out a little bit more of the sand you can just go back over it a little bit. Make sure you make a good paste out of it. And you want to leave it a little bit high as you as you putty knife it down into the crack you don't want to get it low or you're gonna to have to repair it again so just leave it a little high you're gonna end up grinding it all off anyway if you were doing this all by yourself which you could pretty easily you do probably between five and ten feet you'd wet it out put the sand to it use your putty knife make a paste fill it in do another five to ten feet and just keep going that way but with two people you can move along really fast. That dual cartridge kit too, that'll do a lot of lineal footage of crack. We had a bunch of little ones on this floor. We're eventually going to do an epoxy floor over this concrete. That's one of the reasons why we're repairing all these. You can see I just keep wetting it out. Just a nice fine line of repair material in the crack. Darren's just putting enough silica sand to fill the crack, make a nice paste and fill the crack. I'm wetting out the sand again if I need to. And then I just keep going. The key is here just to work steady. You know, you don't want to stop and put the caulking gun down, take a phone call. The stuff will dry pretty fast. But as long as you stay steady, you're going to be just fine. You can see there's quite a few cracks in this floor. A couple little chips and pitted areas here and there that we we repaired also. But that's it. Darren's really doing a good job filling the crack in, keeping the material a little bit high. But Radon Seal makes a really good product. I mean, we've used crack weld a lot, and uh, that's what it looks like after it's hardened up. So here I am, I got my little my little five inch grinder hooked to a vacuum. 
and it grinds off pretty easy. You can really move right along with this thing. And once you grind that off, it's it's fully repaired. It's welded back together. It's nice and smooth. And then you're ready to do whatever you need to over it. You know, like like I said, in our case, we're going to put a nice metallic epoxy floor over this. So we had to make sure this floor was perfect before we did that. But grinding that stuff off, I mean, it literally takes seconds to grind it off. It buzzes right off pretty good with a good grinder. You could use a 4-inch DeWalt grinder or a Bosch grinder or anything you got with a diamond cup wheel. I definitely recommend hooking a vacuum to it though. You can see I'm just moving right along. Not really working very hard. Just lightly grinding it. That stuff comes right off. That's a fully repaired crack. You could leave it like that if you wanted to. Let's say it was a garage floor. You could leave it just like that and just put some clear sealer over it. You could you could use a concrete pane over it or an epoxy. Yeah, we get them all over the place. That's what the crack looks like fully repaired. It's just about invisible. I mean, it, the crack itself is gone. This stuff's the best stuff I've used, guys.